Life Audio. Hello. Thank you for listening to your daily Bible verse, the podcast that examines one verse each day to learn more about God and His will for us. I'm your host, Jennifer Slattery, and after this short word from our sponsor, we'll dive into today's Bible verse, Isaiah 42, 3. Hey there, it's Nicole Eunice from the How to Study the Bible podcast, and I'd love to invite you to join us as we weekly discover a passage of God's Word together. From beginning to end, from principles to practicals, we are here to make sure that God's Word is powerful and relevant to your life. If that sounds like something you're looking for, I would love to invite you to subscribe. You can go to lifeaudio.com and search How to Study the Bible, and we'll see you there. Today's Bible verse is Isaiah 42, 3. A bruised reed he will not break, and a smoldering wick he will not snuff out. In faithfulness he will bring forth justice. Years ago, I walked beside a severely depressed teenager. Now, this was during COVID when schools were shutting down and everyone, kids and youth included, were forced into isolation. I'm sure you remember. It was a painful time for everyone, but especially for this teen because her home situation was really, really hard. School had become her escape, her one place of safety, and now that was gone. And each day as she and I connected over Zoom, I had one goal, to help her guard her light, her spark of life within her. As today's verse reveals, this is God's heart for us as well. Speaking of Jesus, we read in verse 2 that he will not shout or cry out or raise his voice in the streets. Now, that doesn't mean he wouldn't or didn't speak truth or that he was never authoritative when he did so. If you've read any of his encounters with the Pharisees, you know he could be quite firm and direct, always speaking the truth that if accepted, would set people free. But Jesus was never domineering or oppressive. He doesn't bully or manipulate us or demand our allegiance. Instead, as he stated in Matthew 11, verse 29, he was and is gentle and lowly, humble in heart, drawing the wounded, the downtrodden, and the oppressed closer in love. This is what we see in today's verse, which again states a bruised reed he will not break, and a smoldering wick he will not snuff out. In faithfulness, he will bring forth justice. So consider a fragile and bruised reed. As Got Questions wrote, quote, to the world, a bruised reed is a worthless thing. It has no power, no stability, no purpose. It is good for nothing but to be cut down and discarded. So in the world, there are many bruised people individuals who have been wounded emotionally, spiritually, or physically. They are feeble. And to most of the world, they are dispensable, but not to God, end quote. Now picture a spark, maybe a flame that once burned really bright, but has been doused with so much heartache, anxiety, and stress that it's begun to go out and you see so much smoke. Some might find the smoke irritating and blow the last of the wick's embers out, but that is not how Jesus treats us. Consider what David Guzik from The Enduring Word wrote, quote, Often we feel that God deals roughly with our weaknesses and failures. Just the opposite is true. He deals with them gently, tenderly, helping them along until the bruised reed is strong and the smoking flax is in full flame, end quote. We see this in Jesus again And again, including in Matthew 12, where referring to our Savior, Scripture quoted the Isaiah passage twice in this chapter. His disciples did something on the Sabbath that wasn't actually against the Jewish laws, but rather the extensive man-made rules the Pharisees had developed around the laws in their effort to control nearly every aspect of human behavior. With their system of power threatened, the religious leaders became so enraged, they began plotting to kill Jesus. And Scripture tells us that he knew this, and yet, He quietly slipped away from the conflict when he could have easily overpowered and conquered. He could have easily made a spectacle of these power-hungry and proud men. And yet he humbly removed himself from the drama to heal the masses. The bruised reeds bowed beneath their physical ailments, their discouragement, their anxiety, their feelings of hopelessness that was threatening to extinguish their light. That is the picture of Jesus today's first paints, reminding us of his words, in Matthew eleven twenty eight to 30, which says, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, 
and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. That is his daily invitation to each of us. The next time you feel like you can't take one more step, when you feel as if the road ahead of you is just too dark and too foggy, and the burden upon you more than you can bear, remember today's verse and remember Christ's invitation to come to him and to trust him to strengthen what feels ready to break and to ignite what's become little more than smoke. Let's pray. Holy Father, we thank you for your gentle, tender, humble, loving, faithful heart. You see us. You see our pain. You see our weaknesses. You see our struggles. You see those times when we are bent beneath the weight of our circumstances. And you don't fault us. You don't get frustrated with us. Instead, you have compassion and mercy and grace. Draw us to yourself and you strengthen us from within. You give us guidance. You tell us what to release and what to hold tight to, what to wait on, and how precisely to wait. You guide our steps so that those burdens don't feel quite so heavy. And you remind us that really they're not our burdens to carry. All we have to do is keep our eyes on you. All we have to do is walk where you tell us to walk, when you tell us to walk, to sit when you tell us to sit, to rest when you tell us to rest, and you will take care of everything else. All we have to do is follow you and you will take care of everything else. Your yoke indeed is easy. We don't have to figure everything out. We don't have to have all the answers. We don't have to fix everything. In fact, we can't. All we can do is follow you. And that is all you've asked is that we pursue you. And when we pursue you, you give us what we need exactly when we need it. Help us to seek you in our struggles, in our normal days, when everything is going well, but especially when we feel like we're about to break. Give us your wisdom. Give us your insight. Help us to trust that you have everything under control. Help us to trust that you will guide us step by step exactly where we need to be at every moment. Thank you that we don't have to face our battles alone. We don't have to carry our burdens alone. In fact, you ask us not to. You ask us to come to bind our lives with you and to cast our burdens upon you. And it's in the name of our Savior, Jesus Christ, that we pray. Amen. Your Daily Bible Verse is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com. Today's Fort Lauderdale forecast, beautiful, especially for your business. Hear growth opportunities in tech, life sciences, aviation, financial services, and corporate headquarters are as great as the weather. Plus, you'll be relocating to one of the top business climates in the country with a population of over 6 million people, along with fast and easy access to 10 airports offering over 2,000 daily flights, putting four continents within reach in a single day. Oh, and let's not forget, zero state income tax. In short, there's no place under the sun better for you and your business. And speaking of the sun, you'll be enjoying more of it with our 23 miles of smooth white sand beaches and an average daily temperature of 76 degrees. To get more information on why you should make your move, contact the Greater Fort Lauderdale Alliance at lesstaxing.com. Because life in Greater Fort Lauderdale truly is life. Less taxing.